Hey guys, welcome to Working Over a Skin. This is Darren Bacon, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna be working over a sketch that I started earlier in the week in my sketchbook. And so here I am just getting started scanning it in. Here's my raw scan and right away I'm gonna get going, uh, just uh, kind of massaging it back into perspective. Uh, you know, obviously when I was sketching it, you know, freehand in my book, I, I was thinking about perspective, but it wasn't perfect. So right now I'm just really, really quickly, roughly, uh, you know, kind of chopping in some lines there with a brush to come up with like a really loose perspective that I was working from. Then I've created a grid here on the layer. And now I've also created another layer with a set of uh, lines. And I'm just gonna be stretching that into perspective using the transform tool. Now I'm expanding the canvas so that I can uh, use a line tool to stretch it out and extend these lines that I've transformed into perspective. And I'm also using that on the other side because what I wanna do here is I wanna get a uh, two point perspective setup. So here, this line I've just drawn is showing the vanishing point, which is extending out to the horizon line. So that horizontal line I'm just sketching is the horizon line that I just found by extending out you know, these two vanishing points and, and kind of finding the meaning between them, which is my horizon line. Now that I know my horizon line, my vanishing points, I can set that grid down in perspective and have a really solid uh, perspective plane to build from. Now that I have my perspective plane, I'm gonna start sketching. I was not thrilled with the cab that I had sketched out. I, I didn't really think that design was super cool. Uh, maybe I could have saved it if I was working uh, I don't know, a little harder, maybe a 3D could have helped, but I think it was just gonna kind of look a little too uh, predictable for what I wanted. So what you saw me just go over there was use a line, a, a, a pen tool to, pencil tool to draw over it and come up with a more interesting silhouette, a little more abstract sci-fi cab that doesn't really make as much literal sense as, you know, like a, a cap you'd find on some uh, construction vehicle, which is what I was originally looking at. So I've kind of sketched in this more abstract sci-fi nose. Now that I have that new design element on the, on the front of the vehicle, I'm going to move on and just start to draw over the rest of the design and kind of uh, redo a lot of the line work that I've done previously. And I've done this by creating a uh, white layer and I put it over everything and then I just drop the opacity so that I can kind of see through to my original marker sketch and kind of paint over that I've, I've done. I'm using the marker sketch and paint over as a block out. And you can see here, I've just turned back on my perspective grid. I'm gonna do that from time to time whenever I need to really know what my perspective is doing. I'm gonna use it to reference. So here I'm referencing it for doing all of these uh, lines that are running back in the perspective. So I can just kind of match that. Also, I'll use the shape tool. I have custom shape set up so that I have uh, ellipses and uh, I'll just stretch these ellipses out so that I can warp them into perspective and use them as my kind of ellipse guide for making these uh, ellipses that make up the wheels. So you'll see me do that sometimes. Uh, it just kind of is a little shortcut for doing that sort of thing, loading an ellipse into a custom shape. There's a lot of reference out there um, for how to create custom shapes. And, and it's really simple to kind of do and have a nice little set. This technique that I'm doing, which is sort of having uh, a marker sketch and then also having um, a, uh, a you know a, a values kind of piece that's below a white lowered opacity layer, it reminds me of when I sketch on vellum. You know, um, traditional marker sketching and, and vehicle design is done on vellum, and when that happens, you sort of draw the drawing once on the backside and you block in all your darks and save all your lights. Then you actually flip the vellum over and work on it on the other side. And so you kind of have a second chance to do your drawing and to kind of fix things and resolve the design there. And likewise, when I'm working digitally, I kind of try to think of it like that, where I have my original sketch, which is sort of like drawing on the backside of the vellum. Then I lower the opacity of it and it gives me an opportunity to go back over it again on a new layer with line work and kind of fix things that I had intended to do originally or kind of massage them into a better place. All right, uh, this is uh, wrapping up and that covers just about everything I was gonna go over today. I hope you found this uh, beneficial and useful. Uh, I know this was kind of a lot of things really quick, but you should get a pretty good idea of what I'm uh, up to when I'm doing a drawing like this. Uh, please don't forget if you like what you saw uh, to please subscribe and also uh, follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. Thank you very much.